February 4, 2004, is the date that Mark Zuckerberg, a student at the US-based Harvard University and his colleagues made history by creating Facebook, the social networking site. Guys, this is it. After all your hard work, Facebook Home is ready to ship. By September last year, Facebook had 900 million members, making it the world's number one social networking service. However, its creation has brought about cases of cybercrime and pornography. In Uganda, Reports of Facebook users posting lead videos for financial gains are rife. We looked up some pages on the site to verify the trend. In our search, we landed on this page. Its manager even posts mobile numbers for those interested in the videos to contact them. We called one of the numbers and had this conversation with the anonymous manager. Yes, hello. Jebali Konyabu. Hey, Kali. Kati, nsobolo kufuna kwa kubuna bu video uenda bawa neno ku Facebook. Eh, nsobolo. Eh, eh. Bobo sindika mobile money, then netu kweleza ku namba ya WhatsApp. Eh, kati, nka ngeenda besi gantia. Eh, oino tuwe siga, sebo tulida unga tu kweleza bantu banzi nyo. Kakati. Mm. Oh, when Pereza sent him better, Mom Pereza videos maker. Auntie Catchis in the Gumulu Kumi, Tuatu Kuatano. Then, while on a full dose, I'm trying to Mukaka, that's what Kumi. After five minutes, we received a sample video. I have received this sample video, and this is the message that accompanies it. These people appear like they are engaging in a legitimate business. But what does the law say? According to Section 17, Part 1 of the Anti-Pornography Act of 2014, anyone who uses the internet service for pornographic benefits commits an offense and, I quote, is liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 500 currency points or imprisonment not exceeding five years or both. The State Minister for Ethics and Integrity, Father Simon Lokodo, says that many Ugandans are abusing the internet. I'm told some people are removing clandestinely, probing into people's uh, personal um, accounts and sending these um, um, obscene, indecent images. Now, the government says it will closely monitor the interactions on all social media networks in a bid to stamp out pornographic yeah. material. We have got already a system in place which is going to reconnoitre investigate, monitor the social media. Anybody who abuses this uh, instrument of communication. However, this could be contrary to Article 27 sub Article 2 of the Constitution, which states that, I quote, no person shall be subjected to interference with the privacy of that person's home, correspondence, communication, or property. All social media platforms are private. The gender ministry has started to crack the whip on women who counsel people on sexual matters for a fee. This group, that's locally known as Sengas, offer material regarded as pornographic. However, the women's sex counselors say they have done a lot to save marriages. <laughs> Rakuba oli wagendeli na kagula asobo kuigia ko biata igoba biata funa kuigiriziwa. Now how are you sure that when you give these people a play of of of, of uh, an act, it's going to remain only for that person and it's not going to be divulged to small children? Baba katua la tu mugamba. In the U.S. alone, research shows that 20% of crime is committed on social media. Although the number of Ugandans joining social media is steadily growing, many locals are still ignorant of the law that spells out the do's and don'ts on issues to do with the Internet. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.